do I get out of here? It's not necessary. Welcome back to Disco Ball's golf channel where I, along with seemingly half the rest of North America, have been selected to join Lone Star's uh, Ranger team. I think it's the one of the lower tier, more influencer-esque uh, teams for Lone Star. But one of the contingencies is that you have to throw a bag of 90% Lone Star. And to me, I think that would be an issue. Um, in general with manufacturers, I think that Personally, I want to throw the best tools for the job, and I don't think there's a single manufacturer out there. Fanboys, feel free to argue in the comments, that'd be hilarious. But I don't think there's a single manufacturer out there that does every slot, you know, that I run, you know, as the best disc for that slot. So that's why I have a mixed bag. Um, that said, today we're looking at could I do it if I needed to? You know, we got the blue bonnet as a putter, I've liked that more than the penny. Penny's a good throwing putter though, so, yeah. Today we're testing out, we're checking to see if I can throw a full Lone Star bag, and if it'd be doable. I, so, Walker, Texas Ranger, important mid-ranges, and the midi. Uh, Curl, Guadalupe might be a little slow, I don't know, I haven't really thrown it too much. Uh, Mad Cats, and of course, the Mockingbird seemed like a little, the Mockingbird seemed like a little more stable of a uh, number three, so that seems all right. And of course the tombstones from the last video, and Bowie. Um, so we're here at West Guth Park. This is, let's see, kind of very early on I did a video out here and I think I haven't been back uh, <laughs> for various reasons. I think I shot plus nine there. It's been almost two years exactly. It was December 9th I checked, checked the, uh, the video. So the goal is to be plus nine with a new, brand new bag semi thrown discs and uh, from the blue pads which are the long pads uh, congratulations third coast they got their funding for putting red pads out here thanks to the uh, the third coast memorial thank you to everyone who participated in that and contributed toward that and so we're just gonna get into it we're gonna see if we can beat plus nine with with just Lone Star so the mad cat wasn't turning over for me I think I can get away with just throwing it low Okay. So we found in the last video that the tombstone was a good overstable driver and uh, there's almost no wind to speak of today for the first time in Corpus in uh, months maybe. So that's annoying. Tombstone still will be useful as a utility disc but it's not going to be the wind, the wind fighting monster that I usually would use it for. But the area that I think they're lacking, that Lone Star disc is lacking. Oh, let's try and get this more upright. A pr a crazy overstable approaches. Right now I use the A2. They don't really have anything like a zone. The harpoon is a little bit too straight. The, what else do people like to use? Jackrabbit's not really all that fady. So not having an A2 is going to be a little bit rough. The bull snake just doesn't cut it. It just doesn't quite do it for me. So here's the look we've got. Um, I'm going to take it low around the outside on Heiser forehand, hopefully sneak it up to the basket. Huh. Is this shit in meters? This can't be in meters, right? So, interesting. The fog is uh, diminishing the rangefinder's abilities, so I'm gonna have to just free ball it. I can do it, I just like real numbers. One thing I will say is I don't have a chupacabra, that would probably be a good one for this angle, but the glide and skip on the tombstone should be all right as long as I can get on, keep it on angle and get it under these stupid trees. Worked out really well. Okay, we got about a 22 footer for par. That was so bad. I had grip locked the shit out of that. Oh, 
I knocked the spider out of the chain. So this, uh, the V1 Classic's a little grippier than I anticipated. So there was a recent uh, change on UDIS that made some of the longer, longer challenging par threes into fours. They usually play more like fours, but I like to think of them more like fours just for the sake of a uh, challenge. Uh, where's that curl? I'm gonna do a big spike hyzer with the curl. The other option is like a low forehand, but no wind to hold it over. It's gonna be challenging to get it there. So many mosquitoes out here. So the spike hyzer over here. If it flips up, then good. If not, whatever. It's hard to get to this one, I think, for me. Good and safe. Let's test our upshot discs. So in this position, I would usually throw a two. Not having that, and I don't... The bull snake is a bit deep. This is what the numbers say it is, but... It's pretty deep. I don't really like the way it comes out of the hand, so I'll go with the Dillo instead. So I'll glow Dillo on hyzer, hopefully just kind of get it on up there. Okay, didn't need to hyzer it that much, but that's good for now. Hold the tangle. Not a great putt, form-wise, but got the job done. Given this wind, I think I can power flex the forehand, so I'm going to throw a bowie. Get it high, get it on angle, let it come back. The other option is a big turnover. I haven't thrown the Guadalupe much, but if I could rip one out there on a little hyzer and have it float and glide, that would probably be good too, but I trust the Bowie more. Rookie mistake. Overpulled it. So that's gonna be strokes. I'll try the Guadalupe. We'll just throw it rethrow from the tee. But I could take it up there, but like I'd rather take this footing. Okay, no wind, that was actually very solid. Yeah, so that angle, it just spiked. Not a lot of glide on this thing, I'm kind of surprised. I will say from the blue tees, this is the best drive I've ever had on this hole. That is insane that it, the water was almost in play. I mean, it's 60 feet or something. But just to have a birdie look, that's that doesn't happen here usually. I don't know if I have a gliding enough putter to make this happen. I wonder if the fog cleared up to give me a number. 22. That's not right. Oh, there's a circle, so... 55-ish? Uphill, though. Playing like 60-something. Huh. That was a good run. Birdies are hard to come by normally, so... A five there stings. Plus three, three, three. I kind of want to throw that Guadalupe again, but the uh, the curl, I know I can give it some juice, so we'll try the curl. I don't know that, but there's no wind, so... The line was good. It might be a touch short, but it should be a putt. What other putters does Lone Star have? They got the Jackrabbit. I don't think they have a lightier putter and for longer putts like this it makes it tough to get it on any that holds around like you know I'm just barely behind this tree. It's not bad but I do wish that I had a little bit more to work with as far as glide. Ah. It's a long shot make through those trees. Curl is putting in work right now, I'm really liking it. This is going to be one where upshot discs become an issue. Because I like to bring it out to the left side, that's the most open, approachable thing. But it's still usually about 150 to 200. And I don't have, I mean the deal is fine. But I don't have that hard, overstable where I can just put it out right and let it fight toward the basket. So I'm going to have to be a little straighter, it should be fine. First, first step is to get it out into the open on the left. So. I'm going to hydro flip the hell out of this Guadalupe and see what I can do with it. Okay. 
Okay, pushing with some distance. Didn't flip up nearly as much. Man, I'm so used to high wind. That was super safe. Something I do have, as far as monster over sable, is the walker. It's a little glidey compared to what I like, but it should do the trick. Hopefully skip up by the basket if I put it out to the right. Oh, I didn't bring it. Pretty bad, Robert. Lack of disc familiarity there. All right, we're at about 38, 39 feet. Freeze is negligible. This should finish, the boob on it should finish a little left, though. It really didn't. That's kind of annoying. Hole six, straight tunnel shot down the hill. This is mockingbird time. Try to just get it fly pretty straight. Maybe a little turnover. That's as good as probably gonna get. Of course it starts drizzling. Still not as bad as what we dealt with in Oregon. However, I prefer to just be one quick little downpour and then continue on with the damn video. This is an unlikely make from about 60, 70 feet, something like that. So try a little Annie, Annie Dillo. That should do the trick. Just par and move on, yeah? I do like Lone Star's glow plastic. It is nice and glowy. That Dillo is just hanging out in there. Just shining as if to say, like, use me! So. The Guadalupe was all right on hyzer and actually kind of rode a bit, so we'll use it again here. Kind of surprised I'm using it so much. Get out of me. Gotta glide a lot. It's way right. Safe, but not great. A little grip lock in the wet. Okay, the rain should have knocked down some of the fog, so hopefully my rangefinder is usable again. Hey, 222. It's probably a Texas Ranger. I kind of want it to turn over a little bit. I don't know if the Texas Ranger will do that. Outside of a windy scenario, but we'll give it a go. Just a little flat chop. Let it, uh, let it ride a touch to the right, maybe. Oh, that's good. Get left. Get left. Get down. Left. Left and down. Okay, that uh, was kind of juiced. I was probably going 280 or some shit, but caught the trees, very fortunate. Those are some sturdy ass fucking trees. Cause the disc like fell backwards from them. All right, we're just inside circle, probably what? Um, 30 feet, 29 feet. Downhill putt should be makeable. This would be, be a good par. See ya. I liked it. I thought that should have fallen in. Slippery chain. All right, unimpressive bogey there. We're gonna try and rip this bowie kind of flat and get it to finish right. That high grass grows up so fast. I don't know if this bamboo or what, but we're gonna go around it to the left and then enough angle that it comes back. Oh, uh, get around that tree though. Or get into that tree though, whatever, whatever. I never jump hot, that, but that's the only way I'm going to get this close, I think. Pretty bad. Good get upshot, but never a chance at the basket. So the par. We need some birdies. So I think in that original version, or in that original video, there's a tree here that blocks the backhand hyzer line, so there's almost forehand only. But with that open, we're going to go with the Mad Cat. Just throw it out to the right. Hopefully it'll fade back. I keep going too wide here, so I'm going to bring it in just a touch. See ya. Go, 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 go. Uh, a little short, but playable. Puttable. Probably not going to bogey from there. So my standard putting grip isn't feeling great on this V2 plastic in the wet. It kind of sticks and ends up on hyzer. So I've been going with a more kind of traditional I don't know if I like it, but I gotta put it straighter. It's not fading. It's a very straight putter, which I, I like in a putter. There we go. Tiny bit of fade at the end there. Just enough to bring it inside the chains. Birdie! 
Okay, I'm gonna slow down and hit this gap. I think it's a Texas Ranger kind of shot. I could probably throw a putter, but I have to throw the putter harder. I think I have a mosquito bite right here. That's kind of annoying. On account of I hose my whole face down with spray. Probably a good way to get cancer. Mosquito. Texas Ranger through the gap. Kind of, kind of low, kind of chill. Maybe a little bit of ante. Try not to crank it too far. But getting under this initial branch is the key to parring. Oh no! So much for fucking parring. Gosh, dude, I just, I should just throw forehand here every single time. Forehand out here, even spiked, goes somewhere down there, and it makes par. Maybe not birdie, but it makes par, like, almost every time. Instead, we're left with this clowny ass, curvy bastard, whatever, something or other. I'm just gonna go crazy over stable. I just want something getting on hyzer and skipping. I don't care how far right it goes. I don't think I can. I don't think I can throw it far enough right to be an issue. That's probably better than I could have ever hoped for. So, huzzah! You know, I haven't straddle putted yet with this thing. That should probably be fine. It keeps trying to come out right. I don't know why it does that. A little, just a little tackiness, maybe. Still made it, but I don't like it. Right? Like, first world problems. Eh, my putt didn't release properly and it still went in. All right, we've been here before. I think the Guadalupe on less angle than number three. Uh, three? Yeah, three. Slightly less angle, let it ride. Would probably be just right for this. A little flatter. It is slightly uphill, so... We'll see, we'll see. I want it moving left to right mostly. Oh, too much. Get that tree and get down. Thank you, tree. Should have an angle from over there. Just a little grip lock, pulled it hard. Missed my line. Okay, we're kind of screwed. We're trying to hit this little gap here. If I can get it through there on kind of flat finishing hyzer, maybe. It's, I'm in between the, uh, the locker and the, and like something like um, one of the tombstones. I think. I think the walker will do it, but I gotta get it in the air. Oh, that's challenging. Yeah, came out of touch early. I got the camera set up and didn't even record it. Little walker forehand over the hill. Oh, don't be that short. Okay, that's fine. That'll, that should be a bogey. Adam Hemmings kind of stabby fun. One thing I'll say is not knowing these discs, Texas Ranger, you're wrong. Tombstone, I want to glow tombstone. Not knowing these discs, I can't be quite as aggressive as I would normally, or as much as I'd like to be. So we're just going to play the smart play. Let's throw it over the street forehand, let it hit somewhere near that light pole. We don't want to get too crazy with this. Especially because the teeth out kind of slidey. That's safe. So for the sake of scoring, I'm going to throw the glow jello, but I'm also going to throw the bull snake. See how it compares. We got 135 in. I generally know what the glow jello does. Pretty straight. 135 should be like maybe a touch of hyzer, and it just finishes nicely. Okay, a little flip up, but I think I got the distance right. Now the overstable play, I guess, besides the walker, would be the bull snake. I like it forehand. I mean, it takes the tree out of play. But let's see if we can make it work, because it's just, I haven't found a way to, I don't know, get to cooperate really. It doesn't handle off-axis torque well. A lot of the V2 doesn't, so if there's any wobble, it's a flaps off to the left. Ah, like that. Finished okay, but like, 
That's okay, ish. But that's why I trust the Dillo more, which it's very, it's very sad. The harpoon, harpoon also not great. It's. I wish there was something like a Zone or A2 for for Lone Star. So the the off-axis torque wobbles effectively adds glide, where you see the bull snake, you see the Dillo, and then the basket. Dillo stabled up a little bit more readily. It did flip up and glide more, but it uh, it's still more reliable than the bull snake. And you may think, Robert, why don't you just improve your form and not suck? And to that I say, of course I want to improve my form. But if I screw up, having a little bit of safety net is pretty nice too. Now I want this to be a pretty straight shot with some glide. I think the curl will do it. The Mockingbird was like also in play, like I was thinking about throwing that, but I think the, I think the curl will get a little more glide. So I'm gonna go with the curl. Pretty well executed. I'm pretty happy with that. It's kind of amazing what can be accomplished in lower wind. I'm usually about 60 80 feet back, only 294. Let's go with this slightly less stable tombstone. We're gonna just try and put it on an angle, get it to hold the angle, finish, finish right at the basket. I think it, this should be reachable. This is the only par four on the you know, old layout. Oh, fucking fire ant, how dare you? Nowhere near any fire ant mound. How the fuck did you hit the ride? I will murder all of you. Should we get around that corner? Okay, well it's safe. I didn't get it on angle enough, so it didn't ride quite out quick. Find a little in-between disc would be key if I were to use Lone Star. By being just outside circle on this side, on the basket side in two, We've just about guaranteed the par, or better. That was a nasty spit through. I did nothing wrong there. Okay, hole 12, big spike hyzer. We already know outside of the wind, this thing is a beef monster, so I can just spike it out to the right. It's only, it says it's only 220 feet. It feels longer. Maybe because I have to throw it so far forehand out there. Get right, hard. Spike, sit. Okay, I nuked it long. That happens. I just realized it always plays longer because of the wind. There's no wind, so. The 40 feet longer that it played, it's non-existent today. Fuck you, mosquito. It's only circle's edge, though. You know, maybe the bull snake will be good for this guy. Just try this. I don't know if this thing rolls. It looks like it rolls. It looks like it rolls a lot. Ah, uh, fucking mosquito. Motherfuckers, dude. I hate mosquitoes so much. I just want to putt. That did not fade back, like, reliably at all. I just... The bull snake would probably never make my bag. Also, now it's covered in fire ants. Get out of here, fire ants, fuck okay. uh, Oh, apparently it does roll. Check this out. Okay, well, good thing I didn't miss dramatically. Okay, so 13, pretty stock hyzer toward the basketball court. I'm gonna go with the midi, I haven't thrown it yet. I think the walker is a little too much edge, too much fade. So this should be like a happy medium. I remember a while back I used to throw verdict here, sometimes harp. Harp usually from the shorter pad, but midi. Seth, you'll be proud. Too much hyzer, what an idiot. 90 foot uphill putt. About 57 feet. Oh, I'm par. You know what? Maybe I treated you too harshly. Harshly. Full snake, uh, 
I put it out to the right and it hides his back, then maybe it's not so bad. If it just stays flat the whole time, backhand, I'm probably gonna give it to someone in the comments. So let's give it a try. I'm gonna try and put it out to the right, have it fade faster. Fade back to the left. Uh, so just right of that farthest tree down there. Okay, if it's actually hyzer, that's a start. What I actually wanted to throw was the penny. Yeah, pennies. The penny is money. <laughs> okay, so we're just outside a circle. Looking at 40 ish feet. Dialing in the putt a bit with the, the blue bonnet. Not with the bull snake. You can fuck off. So I do have a putt I don't get to use incredibly often because of the wind and it just causes issues where I try to land it in the the cage itself. Chains with or without doesn't really matter vastly. But I'm trying to just like anything that falls in it typically doesn't go past the basket much. Kind of a, a safer layup. Problem is in the high wind anything you put up into the wind gets violently abused. So I uh, tend not to use it but out here especially with the chains not grabbing on that blue bonnet the V1 or V2 plastic or whatnot. Um, it just seems like a decent putt and uh, it worked there, so yay. The Guadalupe has been putting in so much work for us. It's probably, it was probably the disc that it had lowest expectations for and has seriously outperformed those low expectations. Curl I knew was pretty solid. It's been really good too. Just trying to get it over the ditch here by any means necessary. That's not going to do it. I heard it hit wall, so that's a good sign. Probably not going to par it though. It came out just a little bit off timing. What else could I do that with, potentially? Let's tinker with the curl. Yeah, that'll do it. See, that curl. It's just, I like it. It's very wraith-like. Okay, that's manageable. Probably not safe, but manageable. See if we can forehand a midi. This is gonna be wild. Thumber, this is a thumber shot. We have thumber discs. This Halloween tombstone should be fine. Oh, this is gonna be slippery. Oh, it's so slippery. Oh, shit. Oh, okay, well. This is something. This is the wrong shoes for this lie. Ah. Good enough. Now how the fuck do I get out of here? Oh, if I can climb. So unnecessary. So, I mean, really, these things being as bad as they are, I think I'm just going to be forehanding the walker on the shots that I would normally throw at A2. I just have to deal with it. Yeah, yeah. That's closest to what I need for that slot in the bag, so. So bogey here is really not shabby. Most people are bogeying. But they don't get over the ditch. Or worse, double comes into play if you go in there and lose a disc. So I don't feel bad there. Number 16, this is a Guadalupe shot if I've ever seen one. Get it on Annie, let it ride as far down as it can. I think I want to, I think for this plane, I don't think I can get it to cross reliably. So if it stays on the right side, that's great. As long as it doesn't go in the ditch OB, that's pretty sweet. Oh. Too much power, that was, I executed, I just under, I just over, Overestimated the stability of the disc. That should leave a reasonable, I don't know, a 220 foot upshot or something. So I think I figured out what happened. We've had a bit of a cold front coming out of the north lately, and it's shifted. It's warmer today. It's in the 70s. Not wearing long sleeves. 
But uh, the wind is slightly out of the south again. I mean, that guy is going to be affected ever so slightly because it's not much of not much of a win. 221. I don't know, 220 foot upshot or something. What a pretty good guess, eh? And I think I can get away with the walker. I can put the walker, I can backhand it or I can forehand it. I usually like the forehand just because easier target, but I, I think I'm going to backhand this. Like that. Maybe a little short, kind of surprising. The flight there is really interesting because my A2 doesn't like to glide. Like with this little bit of wind, it would have gotten pushed down a little. Whereas this one, I had it on angle and it still kind of lifted and flew. So different disc, different flight. Obviously different uh, archetype of disc. A2 is more of putt and approach. And then, one second. There we go. A2 is more of a putt and approach. And then, uh, you know, this is more of a mid-range, so it's going to get the extra glides. But it worked out. So par there is great most of the time. It's a tough birdie, like really tough. Two holes left. Number 17, just over the hole to the left. Feels like a mad cat all day. Put it out right and flat, let it glide. Let it do mad cat things. <laughs> That's such a fun, fun art stamp. I like it. Uh, flat, finish. Flat and it's finishing. Sit down, maybe. Sit down, touch. Keep in. Meh. I liked it. I, I did execute it the way I wanted. So there's a basket. It appeared that Spike Heiser was probably the play there. Oh, I need something glide enough to get around this corner. I might put with the mid range. Actually, yeah, yeah, I need it to glide. So, Texas Ranger. Coming out of the bullpen, the reliever. Oh. How clean would that have been? That would have been pretty cool. Still got a par. Okay, so we're at plus five. Do we want the birdie or do we want the ace? The, the birdie, I think, is just throw it on a hyzer, let it catch the trees behind the basket and maybe fall in, but it should fall short. It shouldn't roll anywhere. Whereas the ace run right down the middle, try and hit it with like maybe a midi because uh, I kind of screwed up with the midi last time. I think I'll, the actual play, I'm going to throw a tombstone, hyzer out of the, the left, try and get it to fall on the basket, um, and then I'll throw a midi after just for funsies. So I'm going to go to this tombstone since he seems to be fine. Just stall it out, basically. I think I can throw it as hard as I want. Long. That's annoying. I didn't think I could do that. Let's try the midi shot. Midi up the midi. <laughs> that was bad. Too much, too much uh, beef on it. A little bit more stable than I needed. We wanted the birdie play. And we got the birdie play. Here's where that midi ended up. Not terrible distance wise, but tree trouble and some other stuff. And here is where that tombstone ended up. In circle, no trees. The smart play. So the rain washed away the circle here. Oh, there it is. Okay, so we're 27, 26 feet. Slightly uphill. This should be in my wheelhouse. Put it over the lip barely, but got the bird. So there you have it. Uh, 18, actually, because it's West Goose. 20 holes, Lone Star only bag. And uh, it was decent. I finished plus four. Uh, less wind than this weekend where I finished plus two. So uh, the course is playing easier. However, it's also uh, five strokes better than two years ago when I played with my own bag. So what you can draw from that is Lone Star. In two years, it'll improve your game by five strokes. Guaranteed. It's not a guarantee. No, for legal reasons, that's a joke. Um, but decent bag. There are some, some holes that uh, I would love to see Lone Star fill. 
the the crazy overstable approach. Um, the bull snake is not it. That's uh, probably the most underwhelming disc out of the entire group. I was thinking about doing a review on just it when uh, this is actually. Thank you, Ludwig, for giving me this guy. Thinking of doing a review on just it, but it's so just disappointing that I don't even want to do a video on it. That's how uh, kind of mediocre it is. The blue bonnet, solid. Uh, I, I have the V1 because I like the kind of softer plastic. V2 is the same grippy, but a little firmer. However, slid through chains on number 11. I don't know. I'm not sold. It's not bad. It's not bad, but it's not as good as I want it to be. So I have noticed with this V plastic that, get out of here. You know, bees like blue bonnets. Um, I have noticed though with this V plastic, the, the flight plate seems kind of thick. I think that's how they get the low rim depth, which I like a low rim depth, but uh, because the, the flight plate is so thick, I've, it kind of counters, like the distance between the rim and the top is probably about the same, while the, the rim on the inside is shorter. So um, not bad, not great, but a very straight flying putter. I like it better than the Jackrabbit. The, uh, the other star of the show, Dillo, good straight, similar to a Berg, not quite the same, a little flippier, but good feel, good whatever, I like the glow, uh, so Alpha, nah, not so much, um, and then two other stars of the day, the Guadalupe and the Curl, uh, Guadalupe did a lot of work on that any side, whoa, that's useful, so did a lot of work on that any side, especially on number three, that was a bomb, that was like, to have a... A 60 footer on that was pretty good. Curl, like I said, very wraith light, wraith like. It flipped up to flat and it maybe a little pass. Good long ride. Um, I could definitely see myself bagging a curl at some point. And the tombstone, again, overstable uh, utility monster. That it could potentially replace that slot with my stiletto because stiletto is having a rough time of it. As far as the ranger team. I don't think I'll be joining. So the 90% disc requirement, there there are too many other good discs out there to be throwing just 90% Lone Star unless you're sponsored. The Ranger sponsorship is, uh, it offers discounts on discs, but it's not like, you know, you're not getting the plastic. You get, I think one shirt, one t-shirt, not even a polo. Um, and it just, like I said, there's too many good discs to, to, to not, you know, to be throwing only Lone Star. Uh, there are some decent, like, uh, the Walker was reliable today. Uh, very good, the Texas Ranger, very buzz-like, you know, very, uh, less glidey than my Claymore, but still solid. And, uh, I would say that, like, I would have to have multiples of the same mold beat to different levels. And generally, I don't like doing that. I like to have something out of the box that fills a role. Uh, and right now, I don't think Lone Star does that. The... Alternative play to that is have two backpacks and a cart. Buy a shitload of Lone Star discs, even if you don't use them, and have 10 of your best from other brands. You're reaching the 90% requirement, and you're you know able to be on Team Ranger or the Ranger team, but that's very impractical. <laughs> so with that, I'll be declining the the Ranger invite. Um, I just the, the benefit isn't there currently, and I want to be competitive. I want to throw the best best disc in each slot and uh, I don't think I don't think Lone Star is quite there yet. As always, thank you for watching and hopefully I see you on the course.